happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, in out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so don't miss any of my most awesome videos. In front of us, we have the legendary General Electric Super Radio version 1. This came out in the 1970s. It's an awesome radio. It's claim to fame, all analog, high sensitivity, high selectivity on the medium wave band, and decent FM performer as well. So I'm going to perform an evening medium wave band scan with this, or AM band scan, and we're going to do features first, do a size comparison, then we'll start cruising that evening band. So let's look at this beast. <laughs> it's one of my favorite radios in my collection. It's absolutely amazing on the medium wave band. It's probably one of the best values on the market for a classic used radio. I recommend this one highly. So if you're looking for an analog portable that does really well in the AM band, definitely check out the links below. It takes you to eBay. If you buy one, it helps my channel rock on. It also helps you because you get one awesome radio. The Super Radio 1 has a regular speaker. The Super Radio 2 adds tweeter and a more full range main speaker. Uh, which is better? I tend for the original because it has more mellow tone. But a lot of people like the Super Radio 2 for its higher pitch tone. But let's look at this radio. For features, on the right hand, or left hand side, excuse me, we have a distant design elements. Nothing special. You can see how they did that. I like the texture. It's kind of a cool setup. On the front, we have our dial up on top there. FM 88 to 108. We have a log scale AM band. Uh, it's showing it to 550, but definitely starts around 530. And it goes, my radio goes all the way to 1640, though it's normally 1620. You can see it says long range, high selectivity. Sweet. Going down to the front here uh, is a metal, metal speaker grill. Pretty neat setup. This radio came, I think, around $45, $50 when I got it. It took a little bit of cleaning, but it cleaned up really nice. Typically, people use this as a shop radio, so this had paint on it and everything else. Uh, but I was able to get most of that cleaned up. The speaker here is uh, six and a half inch, believe it or not. It measures five inches here, but of course with the flanges, it's six and a half inches. Plus, I checked some service manuals, and they mentioned six and a half inches. Uh, our tag, General Electric, nice. Get this little chrome trim around there. Our tuning knob, which is really easy and smooth to use. Um, it is dial string, but it works well. Uh, accurate dial by the way this dial is dead on accurate probably one of the best dials i have in my collection as well over here we have some switches we have am fm and a little chrome embellishments there uh, afc on or off that's our automatic frequency control for the fm band here we have treble bass we'll be using these quite a bit uh, for faint signals on am you'll find yourself using these and i was able to pop out some uh really distant am stations during the day by turning the treble all the way down and turning my bass a little bit up it really cut out a lot of the hiss i was able to pick up the voices better so yeah you'll be using these quite quite often i tend to keep my bass lower and my treble a little higher because this is a big speaker and has a lot of bass to it loudness which is volume it may have a little scratchiness to it i thought i cleaned it at one time but it might need another recleaning typical with old radios if you're nervous about opening one up maybe you skip a classic radio and get a new radio but if you're okay opening it up and and getting some deoxic in there, and you're used to doing stuff like that, this radio is for you, for sure. Right-hand side, I know there's an earphone jack there. There you go. Probably single ear only. Not stereo, unfortunately. This is not a stereo radio, but it's an awesome radio nonetheless. On the top, you can see we had a chrome embellished on-off button there. That's pretty neat. Our handle, uh, it's like it's like a solid metal ends here, but it's got like a plastic... Uh, nylon style handle which is pretty strong being that it's more than uh was it close to 40 years old yeah this thing is just amazing uh, actually it's over 40 years old yeah so here we are we have our antenna this guy has a cool like design on it uh, mine doesn't push in all the way but uh, when you pull this up it swivels 360 which is nice and of course recesses nicely in a little holder keep it out of the way so let's pick this up look at the back of the radio and then we'll do a little size comparison all right, so on the back here, it does have the mile number, so if I get that into focus, uh, if you can see it there, it's right in the middle under General Electric, at the vented case. Over here, we have some antenna connections. We have FM for dipole, and then we have AM. We have a ground and antenna wire for AM. 
So it's a neat setup. You really don't need it. Uh, maybe for the FM if you're FM aficionado, but otherwise for AM, don't even bother. You don't have to. This thing is just a beast. Down in the power section, <laughs> I'm calling it that because this is has a power section. There is six D cell batteries. Yep, six of them that power this monster. And over on the side here is a dedicated AC cord. A really neat setup because the transformer is built in and this cord is permanently attached. Just unfurl the cord, even has a spot uh, here I'll show you in a moment on the battery door where you can route it out. And uh, yeah, leave it plugged in all the time. When I first got this radio, I was using it as my main radio. I shifted to an EP Pro, but who knows, I might go back to listening to this radio. I do like its audio. So let's snap that back into place. There's a spot where the cord comes out for the AC. Yeah, neat setup. So let's go ahead and do a little quick size comparison and get on the band because there are lots of stations to find in the evening for sure. But let's see if I can handle this without bumping things. Okay. Yeah, I like the looks of that. Isn't that nice? Yeah. They don't build them like they used to, that's for sure. All right. Uh, let's see. What do we have? Size comparison. CC Pocket looks dwarfed. <laughs> it fits right where the speaker is. Inside the speaker well. That's pretty funny. This is current time, by the way. 10.18 p.m. Central Daylight Time, and I'm near Chicago, Illinois, USA. Good idea of location. It's good to know. Next is CC Skywave. A little shortwave radio, AM, FM. Uh, you got your air band and weather band. Uh, this is great radio for frequency checking on these classic uh, analog radios. But this dial is so accurate, I shouldn't get lost. But if I do, I'll bring this out. Uh, I didn't have to during the day, so I'm assuming in the evening I'll be fine as well. Um, I did do some band scans before this radio a couple years ago. I felt it's time to start doing them now because a lot of new subscribers and viewers on my channel, and they probably haven't seen this radio in action. I haven't really searched my old videos, so why not do some new ones? Of course, last but not least, you guys are expecting this to come into play. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves GE radios with huge speakers, man. <laughs> there you go. Deck of cards for size comparison. Awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this on. We'll make sure we're all the way at the bottom. Our dial indicator now. You can't really see it because of my angle of my camera, but what I'll do is I'll pivot this up once in a while to kind of show you the accuracy, but I kind of know by ear where I'm at. So let's go ahead and make sure we're not jamming loud. This might have a speaker pop, but it's normal. Okay, let's turn it up. Let's see if we can't pick up a faint station on 530. Here we go. I can't hover. Do you know that's funny? I can't hover on that music. <laughs> I got a copy strike once for that. It was pretty interesting. Or copyright strike. I don't really call it a strike. They just call it copyright. Um, the problem with copyrights uh, on music, it's not a bad thing, uh, but it's not good because then sometimes they'll uh, ban this video from showing in certain uh, venues, certain countries, and that. So I tend not to hover too long. That's CHLO uh, 530, Brampton, Ontario, 441 miles, 250 watts is their proclaimed power. I don't know if that's changed. You guys can let me know below if you, if it has. I know you guys stay on top of that. I try to, but <laughs> I review a lot of radios. <laughs> We do have some storms to the south, so you might hear some lightning strikes. When I say south, we're talking about southern Illinois by St. Louis. And Nashville, Tennessee. As you can tell, this station here is like a uh, Indian, you know, uh, India. Not from India, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I forgot to show you. And it has essentially sketches, I mean, erasing in between the sketches and saying, uh, Okay, this might be 540 or 550. We'll find out as we go. Um, this is probably uh, Jackson, Wisconsin, but it sounds like it's talk radio, so I'm guessing this could be KTR KTRS, St. Louis, Missouri on 550, which is 275 miles south, that direction, at 5 kilowatts. Now, neat thing about this, claimed fame on this radio, it has a 200 millimeter ferrite internal antenna. When you do medium wave, you always point that horizontal edge where that antenna is mounted towards the station you're trying to receive. On the back of the radio, um, 
I didn't I forgot to point that out. I'm gonna do it real quick. Uh, why not? We got time. This is fun. You see this little spot here? That's where the antenna is, and it says right there, 200 millimeter AM ferrite rod antenna. That's what's doing the work. Not the top antenna, but the inside one. There's actually two antennas on your radio. Some people don't know that. So yeah. Oh, this thing's a beast. Trying not to bump my tripod here. Let's go ahead and turn that back up. Couple stations. Okay, that was 540. Turn it this way. Now this is neat. I turned it back because we're spending a lot of time at the bottom of the band, but 540, uh, this is also CBK Watra Saskatchewan, which is a thousand miles away, a thousand twenty-five to be exact. And we're going to double check with this skyway and see if we can't pick it up. Should be able to. There we go. See, this thing is so selective, it's very easy to know where you're at. Okay, let's keep tuning. This is probably KTRS 550 St. Louis. With this client commitment in mind and our focus on global expansion, our partner group has decided to rebrand and change their name to PKF Mueller. Aligning our market presence with the strength of the PKF International Network allows us to leverage the talents of 20,000 professional members of the network. This rebranding reflects both the evolution of the company as well as you can see that's playing with trouble and bass give you guys an idea a little demo this is 560 is a local station wind chicago our affiliated wealth management firm mueller financial services <laughs> So we look up at the dial, and we're around 580, or I think this is 590, which is Michigan, WKZO, Kalamazoo, Michigan, about 140 miles away, 5,000 watts. Um, there's something you take away from that last call, and that is, is that... Um, this is 600 WMT Cedar Rapids, Iowa, 175 miles away, 5,000 watts. Now, watch what I usually do in the evening. And fools have gotten degrees in left-handed puppetry and feel entitled. That is not an education crisis. So you could turn the trouble down to kind of take the hiss out and try to boost the uh, audio of the talk, uh, of the person talking. important, but it is not the thing. It is part of the thing. The thing is you. You get up, leave the game, kill something, drag it home. This. But the hitting did that. Okay, well, you're facing a good team with a pretty good pitcher. You're, you're, just, you're, you're not playing the pirate. Okay. Here's 610. Uh, this is KCSP, Kansas City, Missouri, 400 miles away, 5,000 watts. When you step back, it all comes down to this. This is why, as a team, Before they faced financial hardship, if there his house died, nearly one third. I, so, so these you got a really directional. I knew there's a station there. This is 620 WTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, uh, 52 miles to the north. But the horizontal antenna works either way, north or south, of course. Um, but north, south. Uh, so it's like 620 WTMJ. Really is, and we can no verify. 
family in this situation by not having life Frequency? insurance. 620? This is why I talk about Xander Insurance Oops. every day. They're there committed to protecting families with the only products that so I, yeah, I knew where I was at. Start chill you. Keeps the entire process simple and affordable. Go to Xander.com for quick online pricing or call 800 356 42 Me, 1 800 888 7077. KYFI St. Louis. Sharing the gospel with your neighbors. Sharing the gospel with your neighbors, KYFI, 630 St. Louis, Missouri, 275 miles, 5,000 watts. There's also some country music there in the background. That's CFCO, Chatham, Ontario on 630, and it's 310 miles, 6,000 watts. So typically, they're in similar directions, so they're kind of overlapping. Okay, I think we're still hearing KYFI. Sounds good. Yeah, 650 WSM, Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles. Coming in beautiful. So we're between two strong stations. Try this selectivity. This is uh, 660 WFAN, New York, New York, 750 miles, uh, home of the Yankees. As you can see, 670 was really smashing into 660 there. This is 670, the score to BCR, Chicago, home of the Cubs, a strong station. Dempster to Hendrix in the sense that goes out, does the job, lead by example. <laughs> Oh, cool. This is probably CFTR 680, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. A lot of stations here. This radio is doing much better. <laughs> Pulling in the signals with that big antenna. Yes, this is, this is a great investment right here. It's a six ninety. Just gonna double check. Yeah, barely picking it up with the Skywave. Uh, 690 um, is CKGM, Montreal, Quebec, 763 miles, ESPN. Sounds like local, but it's not. This is 700. You can see the dial's dead on accurate. Uh, 700 WLW, Cincinnati, Ohio. 300 miles away. Centered. There are potential risks with any knee surgery, and individual results may vary. Take back your life from knee pain. Visit. You having a hard time getting 710 again? Smash between that loud 700 and a loud 720. There's W O R in between 7, uh, 710, New York, New York. Are you aware of and 
prepared for the risks volatility poses to your portfolio. Should you consider changing your specific holdings or the mix of assets in your account? Here's 720 WGN Chicago. You know, Executive Director, Senior Portfolio Management. Like a lonesome queen. That sounds good. That's Zoomer Radio, 740s, CFZM, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. Always sounds good, especially on a classic. Now, that creaking you're hearing is the battery compartment. This radio is not normally laid flat, but doesn't hurt the radio. USB. This is WSB meteorologist Christina Edwards. A cloudy and dreary Wednesday in store for Metro Atlanta. High near 74, but often on rain showers and torrential downpours. Chance of rain, 80%. Overnight into Thursday morning, a low of 60. So there you go. WSB 750, Atlanta, Georgia, 630 miles. Through Metro Atlanta, high 76. Finally coming to an end Friday morning. Sunshine returns Friday afternoon, high 77. Frankly, the postmodernists have won. Every conversation seems to be dominated by a particularly stupid form of politics in which somebody uses a computer. Okay, here we go. 760 WJR, Detroit, Michigan, 270 miles. So if you want to listen to political talk, there you go. There's tons of it on the AM band. <laughs> I get more excited about the music. I get more excited about the uh, coast to coast where they talk about cool, cool stuff. You know, some of it's goofy. Some of it's actually very interesting. Uh, there is science that's actually cool to listen to. They have physicists, real deal, not just all conspiracy theories on there, which is nice. Um, I do like listening to that. Impenetrable obscure language that must show that i must be saying something profound if i can to hero and that's why it's so important to always support our heroes men and women well i also think this is coming in nice and clear wabc new york new york on 770 750 miles we've got all busy jobs but being a parent i think is the toughest job in the world and military and federal employees but after you switch you might be so happy that you celebrate by doing the running man and nobody does the running man anymore well geico is the second largest car insurer here's 780 wbbm chicago uh monday through fridays 12 a.m to 1 a.m old time radio shows gotta listen to it when radio was yeah congratulations your state legalized recreational cannabis so you don't have to get a medical marijuana until she took her own life in 800 CKLW Windsor Ontario 270 miles that was a weak signal uh, WGY 810 Albany New York 740 miles yeah this New York stations are coming in good tonight <laughs> if that music's copyrighted, I'm gonna smack someone. <laughs> well, the Red Sox will move on. They'll get the Rays on Thursday night after this 6 2 win over the Yankees tonight. What a performance from Nathan of all these Xander Bogarts with the. Uh, 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 Advantage seamless gunners. Experience the advantage. Chad Hartman here to remind you that your home comfort system is working hard. 830 WCCO, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 310 miles. Straight west. You just flip the switch to heat, and nothing happens. The Global Consciousness Project, and the website is noosphere.princeton.edu. Okay. Here's 840 WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky. I usually listen to this one in the evening. This is Ground Zero. I don't really like Ground Zero as much as I like Coast to Coast. So yeah, 12 a.m. to 4 a.m. is when I'm listening. And I listen to it, the whole show. <laughs> uh, my bank that I bank with, I was not able to do any banking transactions on the 1st of October. Uh, they were down. Um, I talked about how this is interesting because during the cycle... 
conditions may apply. Reply stop, opt out. Terms and conditions apply. Visit ISSA online for details. Hey, how'd you like to get paid to work out? Yes. Here's KOA 850 Denver, Colorado, 890 miles. The global leader in personal fitness certification. If you're interested, déplacé au labo. Il y a une nouvelle plateforme qui s'appelle Prolific qui a été développée seulement pour les CJBC 860, Toronto, Ontario. Et vous savez, quand on fait une étude scientifique, on veut avoir ce qu'on appelle un échantillon de participants qui est représentatif. Hi, I'm Ernie Burns of Burns Estate Planning and Wealth Advisors. If you have questions about how tax increases... And Now we're going straight south to New Orleans, Louisiana, 865 miles on WWL. It's so neat. I was talking to my neighbor who is a Saints fan. He was wearing a Saints uh, jersey. Yeah, I'm up in Illinois here, right? We're all Bears territory. <laughs> But he's wearing this. And I told him, I said, you know, you can get uh, St. Louis, or not St. Louis, you can get New Orleans in the evening. And he's like, really? I go, yeah, on the radio. Just turn the radio on. He's like, no way. So maybe I got a convert to portable radio again. And ask about the Burns Retirement Roadmap. Also, you can look yourself on the way. This way? At Burns Estate Planning. The host has asked for proof that the men who showed up to meet the women were vaccinated against COVID. Well, please say... Here's 880 WCBS, New York, New York, 750 miles. This always comes in nice and clear, typically. Uh, you can tell by the this, uh, this, this what do you call it, DJ, <laughs> for lack of a better term, uh, newscaster. Uh, you can tell his voice. It's very... They were racially profiled. It's going on 1141. Dish and Digital, I'm Paul Murray. Eastern Amazon Time. Amazon is out with its largest smart display yet, the Echo Show 15, which comes with a 15 inch We must crush. There's WLS 890. We must change the voting system. So, yeah, we're running out of time, but it's okay. I'll go a little quicker now. Here's my dial. Here's 900 old time radio going on. CHML, Hamilton, Ontario, 430 miles. I'm going to speed up the dial. Exactly how they will react. Game. And then Dodgers Cardinals tomorrow. So Jeff Passy catches us up on everything and tells us what exactly we shouldn't miss. So follow us and listen on your favorite podcast. 1,000, WMVP Chicago. ABC College Football, Oklahoma, Texas. A lot of on the uh, Dom show. And uh, 1020 KDKA, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 450 miles. With police officers is on to something. This is the time. I agree with you on the lobby. I, I think that's what Mike was trying to press. Some of us are having a hard time. Mixing WBZ, Boston, Massachusetts, 880 miles. WHO, Des Moines, Iowa, 1040, 280 miles. I think this is KYW 1060, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 700 miles. I mean, if you go back to the Indians in the 95 and 97 World Series, Mike Hargrove didn't have a hoodie or a different kind of sweatshirt or a different... I think this is WTAM 1100, Cleveland, Ohio, uh, and 345 like miles. Said, somewhere, I think... The younger the workers are, the more likely... 1120 KMOX, St. Louis, Missouri. WBBR 1130, New York, New York. Normalization, being like, let's go back to normal by using the same sorts of WRVA 1140, Richmond, Virginia, 665 miles. Now I'm going to go to the top of the dial and we'll finish this. From the reverse side, uh, the left side. Has gone dark in America. Sadly, this is not recommended for those 12 and under. This guy wants you. 
If you got the patience, you'll find a lot on the band at night. That smooth analog tuning, I love it. I never had stolen Thomas Kelly just to prove a point to him, which was stupid, but I did. Almost through. Fifteen thirty WCKY. Yeah, so we're almost at the top of the band here. Cincinnati, Ohio, three hundred miles. Fifteen forty. Fifteen forty. Fifteen forty. Fifteen forty. Waterloo, Iowa, 210 miles. Which bars executing intellectually disabled people? That music is CHHA, Toronto, Ontario, 1610. Sixteen thirty. Well, that's it right there. Sixteen thirty. Sometimes the world can seem a broken place, so we got to strive to fix it. At the end of the day. And I think it tops out sixteen fifteen. I think we're done. So we will just frequency sixteen fifty. There we are. Cool. So there it is. We're done with the band scan on the G Super Radio 1. Hope you enjoyed it. Give me a like if you did. Two if you like GE radios and you like the old classics like this. Subscribe at the bell icon. Get notified of future videos. Uh, use my link below if you want to buy one of these things. It doesn't cost you any more on eBay. Go win one. Get one. You'll love it. And three, comment below what you think about the GE Super Radio. Would you add this to your collection? Uh, do you like the old classic uh, tuners? Um, this thing didn't need anything. I didn't have to put any capacitors in it, anything. Just had to clean it up a little bit, and it's good to go. So, pretty happy. All right, guys, take care, and we'll see you in my next video.